Good evening, it's Ken of Tortoise Capital with a speed run for the Swing Portfolio for July 5th, 2020. Uh, Alcoa holding strong support here at 11. If it fails at the Bollinger Band mean, it gets down here into the area of 950 and then 8 to connect to previous support levels. Upside, it's got to get through 12. That's the tactical target. That's a 9% gain. And then if it gets above there, it can get above 13 and then beyond. So cautiously optimistic. Perfect critical state. I'm ready to go hard in either direction. Apple is emblematic of the techs. Uh, it's, it endured the pullback, has rebounded nicely, closed above the dragon. I'm uh, ready to be long that, and continue to be long. And then if it can get above one, uh, 370, then it's off to the races. It's one of those must-owns. One of the few that's better than that would be Amazon. Um, you wouldn't be wrong just to keep dumping extra money into that until Bezos proves that he's lost his touch. Uh, but we called this one back here at the uh, um, at the pullback and have enjoyed the run-up. Well postured to continue. Aussie dollar. I'm cautiously optimistic on this one. Uh, if we look longer, it's it's recovered nicely out of this uh, out of this sell-off. Had a strong move. Has held support, starting to show some inclination to the upside on a weakening dollar. And historically, that's going to be a pretty good move. Um, it could get to. You know, 70 and a half pretty easily. And then really up into here at 72 pretty easily as well. So that looks favorable. Boeing. Critical state, ready to go either direction. Finding support at the Bollinger Band Mean. Caterpillar um, has come out of the support level, closed above the Dragon non-tech leader. Um, I like the upside. Cliff Natural Resources, very critical state. It's going to go large in either direction in a week. Cisco, uh, I'm actually negative on this one. It's uh, It had its chance to recover. Didn't. Um, if it breaks down below the dragon, I'm short. And then a the second position if it breaks below here. So negative opinion on Cisco. Uh, lumber. Uh, Cautiously optimistic, closed above the dragon, held support. Diamonds. Cautiously optimistic, next support level is up here at about 267. This sort of pullback is an opportunity to buy. Devon Energy, it's making the turn, and I like that. I'm ready to go long here, but if it breaks below 11.6, then I'm short critical state. Emerging markets very strong. Uh, watch the the sell-off though coming all the way back to the Dragon but otherwise any upside momentum is uh, favorable. EFA is in the same position. Cautiously optimistic as the US lights itself on fire. Um, critical state in Japan. Long term I like them. Mexico cautiously optimistic but start that with a hybrid frog intraday first and then play in either direction. Brazil, uh, same posture with greater volatility compared to Mexico. Uh, I'm more optimistic on Brazil. Facebook uh, has recovered nicely. Um, the sell-off is a little bit troubling, but I'm still optimistic and long. I'd have support down here at the skin of the dragon. Uh, FRTA, this is a trading uh, speculation. Uh, I'm ready to, I, I like it long, but uh, I guess I would rather say I'm ready to go in either direction on it. I'm optimistic now, but that's where I want to be. Uh, Google, just keep dumping money into it. Intel, cautiously optimistic. It's recovered nicely. Made it back to the dragon. Russell is, the, is stronger than the S&P and the diamonds right now. I like the rising lows. Real estate, um... Yeah, it's digging out of the hole from here.
uh, stop would be down here, but I like any resumption of the trend. Johnson & Johnson has turned the corner nicely, has room to go to fair value at 146, so I like it. Uh, McDonald's critical state, it's pulled all the way back below, uh, you know, actually at the, right at the lower skin of the dragon. Um, no directional bias, I'll play either, a breakout in either direction. Uh, it has to get out of the dragon for me to be interested, so it's already close to a breakdown, I would say it that way. Microsoft, just buy it, man. Short this one. Uh, it voted down sharply. I think it's it could come back here to under 40 pretty easily. New Core Steel has made the turn. I'm long and optimistic. Um, cautiously optimistic, but I would preserve that gain right there. I would add to it if it broke out higher. Pfizer has turned the corner, held pretty well on Friday. I think you can add to it if it gets through the Bollinger Band main. Respect the two-day low. Uh, silver, optimistic to the upside. Virgin Galactic, pure speculation. Uh, until it gets out of the yellow box, I just don't have an opinion. It's an intraday target for me only. Simon Property Group is back into the critical state. Um, beautiful intraday frog. And then uh, I'm ready to swing this in either direction. But uh, I, it's going to be a couple days before I, before I swing. Uh, intraday only. Um, treasuries. Optimistic to the long side. hate to say that about the broad market, but man, that thing's held the PSAR pretty nicely. Uh, triple NASDAQ. I'm, I'm long this one. We'll add if it breaks to a new high. Tesla, cautiously optimistic. Uh, smoke and mirrors. You can't argue with the results. Twitter has made the turn. It's coming out of the cellar. I should like that one to recover to here and then to here. But I'm long and happy. Uh, you Dow, just like the Dow, cautiously optimistic. I would preserve the bottom of the dragon. Oil, uh, I'm long. Let's see. Uh, respecting the Bollinger Band mean is the stop, but I would add to this if it can get above 29 and a half. Walmart. Uh, just hard to hard to see why it's not working. But this, uh, I guess I would I would play this here. Either direction. Wheat and precious metals, uh, long and strong. I'll add a second position up there. <coughs> Win, long and strong. U.S. Steel has made the turn. Um, perfect critical state, but I have a long side optimism above. Them. That's going to pay off in the long run. Uh, Material sector doing well, uh, so U.S. Steel's got to catch up to that. That's why I have some hopes for U.S. Steel. I like materials. Energy, cautiously optimistic, but I believe it's turned the corner. Finance is the weakest of the sectors. No directional bias. I'm ready to get short then. Tech is the strongest sector. Doing well. Add to the win. Healthcare has made the turn nicely um, and has recovered all its previous glory, but it really has to get above the hump of the dragon here at um, 103. But I like it. Consumer discretionary. Uh, this feels like resistance to me. I don't know why. It's been one of the stronger plays, but uh, this follow through was not very much, and it took a long time to set a base. So I'm very cautious on that one. Um, finally, XOP, uh, critical state, ready to go large in either direction. All right, guys, thanks for your kind attention. We'll get this posted. And we'll be ready for them on Monday.